If you're watching this, then you've probably been sucked into the wonderful world of bolt induction heaters. Or maybe this is your introduction. Either way, in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you why I can't live without this tool and I've only owned one for two days. Let's get to it. It's an interesting feeling, isn't it? When you finally buy one of those tools that you've been putting off buying forever, only to find out that it is an absolute game changer. It's a mixed feeling, isn't it? You know, you're excited because you got a new toy. It works really good. You love it. But also, running through your mind is all the times you could have used it. And uh, right now, in my head, I'm going through all the times in the past six months or so that I have cut off or, or had to get the torch out on rusty bolts. It's kind of frustrating because I could have saved myself a lot of trouble. Now when this tool arrived, I was like a kid at Christmas. I had to try it on something. So I grabbed these Ford Y-Block exhaust manifolds because they had these nuts on the collectors that were horribly stuck. They do such a good job. It popped them off like they were nothing. Once they got red hot, I was able to just put a wrench on them and off they came. Even this one right here was rounded off and the wrench didn't really want to fit on there, but it still broke loose. Now, after I did the ram's horns, it was time to put it to the real test, the test that I had bought it for, which is the gas tank bolts on my 84 F350 crew cap. These bolts were horribly, horribly stuck. I tried several different methods. First, I tried a standard ratchet and wrench. Didn't work. Then I tried a half inch drive air wrench. Ow! Wow! That got... Ooh, that was my finger. Yeah, that went even worse. But now take a look at it when I tried the induction heater. You'll notice I didn't even get the bolts red hot. That is because there was rubber sandwiched between this bracket and the frame, and it was smoking that rubber whenever I tried to heat it. So I just got it warm and came right off, no problem. So let's take a closer look at the thing. Now, you can get two different versions of the same bolt heater, one with the case and the extra coils, and one without. I bought the one with the case and the coils because I did the math on the prices and it just seemed like a better deal overall. So you can find the links in the description to both versions. Keep in mind that links down there are affiliate links, meaning that if you make a purchase through those links, I may earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Now, when it comes to the tool itself, the Amazon reviews said that it felt cheap. For a Chinese product, it feels pretty good to me. I don't really see a lot wrong with it. Yes, it is made almost entirely of plastic, it's an induction heater. I would much rather it be made out of plastic. I don't want to be holding a metal induction heater. I just don't, don't think that would be a good idea. The plastic feels pretty good. The handle, all of that seems fine. I mean, no, I'm not going to be dropping it on purpose. You're getting what you pay for, and honestly, I think you're getting a pretty good bang for your buck here. I cannot testify as to the durability of this tool just yet because I've literally only had it one day. I just got it in the mail. I was so excited. I turned the camera on wanted to talk about it. The Amazon reviews say the coils burn out pretty quick. Uh, I can't testify to that. I've only used it a couple of times. I feel like they're a little bit overpriced, but I will say they look like they would be easy enough to make. That might be something we'll have to explore in a future video. I will also leave a link down below to the replacement coils for this thing. So let's go ahead and sum this up. Is it worth it? Yes, in my opinion, it's worth every bit of it. I wish I had bought it six months ago. I came very close to pulling the trigger uh, back then, and I didn't. Man, I wish I had. This thing is so, so nice. Will it hold up? I have no idea. I haven't had a chance to test the longevity of those coils yet, but honestly, if it burns through coils like nobody's business, I'll probably just buy them and not even complain because this thing is that 
useful. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope you found it helpful. Once again, I love this tool. That's the only reason I made this video. I hope you like it too. I hope it saves you a bunch of time. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.